Hello everyone and welcome back to Moose Now. Each week we bring you the latest news and updates of campus events going on here at Utica University. My name is Charles Buckley. And I'm Issa Hujak. Let's jump right into the events for this week. Enjoy reading books? Then I'm sure you will like this event. After a two year wait, the Frank E. Gannett Memorial Library presents Banned Books Read-In on Wednesday, September 28th. Their message is simple. Books unite us. Censorship divides us. The event was first held on campus 30 years ago and makes a return. Librarians will be on hand to discuss recent challenges to intellectual freedom in the U.S. as well as the new surge of books banned this past year. Students, faculty, and staff are welcome to attend, read, and browse. The event will be hosted by the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion in Strebel Lounge between 11 a.m. and 3.30 p.m. On Wednesday, September 28th, the School of Arts is hosting a lunch hour series read with author and poet Dan Rosenberg. Rosenberg's work has won him the American Poetry Journal Book Prize and Omidon Poetry Chat Book Contest. He teaches literature, creative writing, and translation theory at Wells College, where he is chair of the English department. The reading will go from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. in Diperno 127. The Cybersecurity Club is getting ready for the annual CNY Hackathon. Utica University Cybersecurity Club, known as U2C2, has openings on their cyber competition teams for students at all skill levels. An informational meeting regarding the event, as well as benefits of membership in competitions, will be hosted on Wednesday, September 28th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the Bollard Conference Room located in Bollard Hall. Pizza is a meal that could practically be eaten at any time of the day. The RAs of Bell Hall are hosting a Pizza Palooza. Students are invited to come make a pizza with any of the toppings they want. While the pizza is cooking in the oven, a movie will be in the lounge for students to enjoy. The event will be on Thursday, September 29th from 5 to 7 p.m. on the third floor of Bell Hall. This will be a perfect way to spend time with your friends and enjoy a savory treat. Continuing the Films on Thursday series, this week the School of Arts and Sciences is showing Down with the King. The film is about a famous rapper who feels the pressures of the music industry and being a celebrity. He decides to trade his city life for a rural house in, the, in Berkshires to focus on his next album and discovers that he's content with the more simplistic life of the small farming community around him. Down with the King will be shown in Diperno 127 at 7 p.m. Thursday, September 29th. Do you want to get more involved on campus? The Student Government Association is back to hosting its bi-weekly House of Organization meetings. These meetings serve as a chance for clubs to get informed on campus events and to be able to have a say on decisions. The meeting is happening this Wednesday, September 28th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the Donahue Auditorium. This weekend is Alumni and Family Weekend at Utica University. The weekend will be full of events such as the Carnival, the pre-game tailgate party, the Pioneer Fifth Quarter Party, and a host of dedications and receptions. Student Living and Campus Engagement will be hosting a two-day homecoming carnival on Friday, September 30th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. and Saturday, October 1st from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Come with your friends and to the Strebel Back Lawn for rides, games, cotton candy, snow cones, and popcorn. Register and view the schedule for the weekend on utica.edu. Utica's football team will be playing Hartwick College at 1 p.m. at the Charles A. Gaetano Stadium. Be sure to come and cheer on your pioneers. Before heading to the football game Saturday afternoon, be sure to stop by the tailgate at the Burstown Road entrance in parking lot A on campus. The tailgate party will host a variety of family-friendly activities to enjoy, such as face painting and track selfies. There will also be an assortment of food and beverages. Fortunately for students who already have a meal plan, hot dogs and burgers will be on the house. The tailgate will begin at 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. on October 1st. To get to the tailgate, go through the Burstone Road entrance. As a part of Homecoming, the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion will be hosting a For the Culture reception. This reception will be honoring organizations such as the Divine Nine, Black Student Union, the Black Alumni Association, as well as other clubs and organizations. 
The reception is happening on October 1st in the Wilcox Center from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. That's all we have for Moose now, but we hope to see you at a homecoming event this weekend. Be sure to check your email for the morning mention to stay up to date. And always remember to... Fear the Moose! Fear the moose.